Magical Christmas Story, Owl in a Straw Hat 3, by Rudolfo Anaya. On Christmas Eve morning, the Wisdom School students played in the snow while they waited for school to start. Ollie Tecolote's parents had sent him to Wisdom School so he could learn to read. And there he continued his studies. His classmates were Uno, the unicorn, Jackie, Jackalope, Bessie Beaver, Sally Skunk, Robbie Rabbit, and Ninja Raccoon. They were all best friends. It had snowed the day before in Chimayo, and the valley and the surrounding hills were blanketed in sparkling white powder. The village looked like a picture postcard. This group of characters that uh, Rudolfo Naya came up with, he not only did he bring people out of the community, but he also brought uh, animals that are uh, here, native to New Mexico, uh, crows, the raven, the owl, uh, raccoons, uh, skunks. Owl in the Straw Hat is uh, Ollie. Ollie is the identity of a curious child of wanting to learn and wanting to know and seek new things. That's what Rudy really did. He took the characteristics of what owls tend to be, where they're, they're curious and then they grow and develop the sharpness. And that's why Ollie, if you see, he's got the bow tie, I developed that, but then he still has that farmer ranchero had to keeping down the roots. Nana rang the school bell. Nana was Ollie's grandmother and the teacher at Wisdom School. Es hora de clase, time for class. Ay, que bonita la nieve. Isn't the snow beautiful, Nana asked, and the students agreed. Not only was snow good to play in, but if it snowed, the mountains would be full of water in the spring for filling the acequia. Planting and taking care of a garden was a very important part of school. From the kitchen wafted a delicious aroma from the very big pot of pozole Nana was cooking on a wood-burning stove. <laughs> what is that smell? Ollie asked. Oh, come into the kitchen and see, Nana said. The students gathered as Nana stirred the pot. This is pozole. Next to the pozole sat a skillet of chile colorado. The red chile will flavor the pozole and the tamales that the three little pigs are bringing later. Today, pozole will be served in almost every home in New Mexico. And pozole meant that Christmas had truly arrived. That's the beauty about this book is when you see the pozole that Nana's putting together and then the uh, the three little pigs bringing tamales. What joy, What who? That, whose door would that not bring joy to, right? Uh, Rodolfo and I, through his literature and myself through my work, uh, we were able to leave a message and give a message to uh, New Mexicans that Christmas is not about going out shopping and buying these big elaborate gifts or who has the most gifts. Rodolfo left it in words about how coming together through community, through friends and family and knowledge because of Nana uh, and storytelling, which Rodolfo and I is doing a, uh, told us a story and then Nana in the book is telling the story back through traditions and how people gathered together with food. So at the end of all of this, Rudolfo let us, is letting us know that um, it's about familia, it's about bringing personal gifts and giving and sharing. And when we gather together, we can tell stories. And we all know Rudolfo Naya was a great storyteller. A song from a choir of angels rolled down from the hills, filling the valley with angelic music. 
after they stood and listened for a while, Nana whispered, it's time to go home. The shepherds followed her up the Farolito path. It was very late when they got back to wisdom school. The tired shepherds ate bizcochitos and drank hot chocolate and talked about the miracle that they had just seen. Their gifts had been accepted by the baby Jesus. And in turn, he had blessed them. I'm speaking for Rudy. He wrote this story because it was a beautiful gift to Nuevo Mexico. Uh, it's, it's interesting that this quintessentially New Mexican story that covers all the bases, Los Pastores, the folklore, the traditions. Um, it has everything that is sacred to us, our food, our drink, our culture, our language. This was Rodolfo's gift to us. And um, it's my great honor to have read this story and to share it with people because he was one of lo nuestros, one of us. And um, it's not surprising that he would want to leave for the other world with a gift that would resonate with us. Christmas time is a time of giving. Uh, what greater gift to give than the spirit of who he was and what he loved? Thank you. Thank you, Rudy. <laughs>